Hello viewers today we are talking about Lucian Freud, a visionary artist who redefined portraiture. Lucian Freud, born on December 8, 1922, in Berlin, Germany, was a British painter. Known for his distinctive and evocative approach to portraiture, he was the grandson of the famous psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud and the younger brother of the renowned politician and broadcaster Clement Freud. Throughout his career, Lucian Freud gained international recognition for his intense, intimate, and often confronting depictions of the human form. Freud's early life was marked by the shadow of World War II and his family's escape from Nazi Germany to London in 1933. This early upheaval likely contributed to the intensity and psychological depth that would later characterize his work. After studying at various art institutions, including the Central School of Art and the East Anglian School of Painting and Drawing, Freud began to develop his own unique artistic style. His artistic journey can be divided into distinct periods, each marked by stylistic changes and thematic evolution. In his early career, Freud's work was influenced by the Surrealist movement, as seen in his dreamlike and fantastical compositions. However, he soon moved away from Surrealism, opting for a more direct and raw approach to painting. This marked the beginning of his fascination with the human body, particularly the nude form, which would become a central focus of his oeuvre. Freud's portraits are characterized by their meticulous attention to detail and an unflinching honesty that often revealed the vulnerability and imperfections of his subjects. He painted people from all walks of life, including friends, family members, fellow artists, and even himself. One of his most famous portraits, Benefits Supervisor Sleeping, 1995 depicted an overweight, naked woman lying on a couch. The painting's frankness and the way it challenged conventional beauty standards sparked both admiration and controversy. Another key element of Freud's work was his complex use of brushwork and color. He employed thick layers of paint, often using a palette knife, to create a tactile and textured surface that added depth and dimension to his paintings. This technique, known as impasto, allowed him to capture the physicality of his subjects and imbue his work with a sense of rawness and immediacy. Freud's commitment to his art was unwavering, and he was known for his meticulous approach to painting. He often spent countless hours working on a single portrait, striving to capture the essence of his subjects. This dedication sometimes led to strained relationships with his sitters, as his intense scrutiny could be emotionally taxing. As the years went by, Freud's style continued to evolve. His later works became even more focused on the physicality of the human body, often verging on abstraction. Despite his advanced age, he remained active and continued to paint prolifically. His subjects aged alongside him, resulting in a series of portraits that documented the passage of time and the effects of aging on the human form. Lucian Freud's legacy is profound and enduring. He challenged traditional notions of beauty and pushed the boundaries of portraiture, creating a body of work that